Fifine did it again with their new BM66. Let's open it up and check it out. So here it is, the new BM66. I love the fact that they kept the design packaging minimal. Obviously you've got your user guide. Things to be packed nice and well in here. You've got your C-clamp and your Allen wrench. It looks like you got the entire boom arm itself. And my, might I say, it looks nice. nice. Let's see if you can see that. It looks like a quality mount. Let's set this up and see how this sucker performs and looks. All right, this is what the c camp looks like. It has foam on the top and on the bottom. A pretty simple fit. Tighten it up, put it in, pull out your accessory Allen key and tighten her up. And it's as simple as that for the setup. For the mic, we are gonna pair it with a Fifine Amplitank 3. Plug that in, pull these out like that. Yep, slap that sucker in there. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. Now that that's through, we just easily slide this joint cover off. Put your wire through, joint cover back on. Snap straight on. Slap Chop. And then we repeat the process down. The BM66 is made of high quality metal. I'm not sure what kind of metal, but it is indeed as solid as a rock. It can withstand up to four kilograms. I did a test on it with my SM7B and it holds up pretty steady with no sagging at all. You could feel the tension on the device and you could tell the tension is great. Like other boom arms, it does rotate horizontally 360 degrees at the base. The cable channel is a plastic plug type of cable management system and the plastic casing cover over the joint in the middle is removable for a more clean look but it does have one problem, and I will get to that later in the video. The BM66 does have a standard C-clamp, which is good, no complaints there. It also comes with a 1 4th, 3 8th, and 5 8 inch adapter, so it's compatible with, I'm sure, every type of microphone. It comes in two options, one with a riser extension tube to accommodate the vertical length you might need if you have monitors that are higher up. My thoughts on this boom arm is that it's a really good boom arm, especially if you could snag this up at its current price of $57.99. It might even be better than the Elgato Wave. As I said, it is high quality, the metal finish makes it feel very premium, and I wouldn't be worried that this boom arm would break. The ball head mount is a quality ball head mount. I had other boom arms where the ball head mount, no matter how tight you tightened it, it would still move around and tilt in some cases. This one is great. Tighten it and your mic, your phone, your camera, or whatever you put on it is not gonna sag or go anywhere. The cable management channel is a great addition. It does an effective job at hiding your cables, and I would prefer this type of cable management channel more so than the slide off plastic or magnetic trays. Like I said before, the cover on the middle joint is removable for an even more clean look, which is perfect. Not a lot of boom arms add this, and I'm glad Fifine did, but there is a major flaw in the design. When using an XLR cable or even a USB-C cable, if you extend the boom arm too high, making the boom arm as straight as possible, it will kink your cables, which to me is a big problem. They can easily fix this in the next iteration by making the routing channel a bit bigger for the XLR cables not to be kinked. I can't imagine too many people putting their boom arm in this position, so it might or might not be a problem for you. But overall, this is an amazing boom arm, and if you could get it at its current price right now, it's definitely a buy, and I would definitely consider this as a contender when shopping around for a boom arm. If you want to get this boom arm yourself, I do have an affiliate link down in the description. It helps the channel a lot. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to check out these videos here. And if you could like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, it'd be appreciated. But as always, this is Euro the Hero. Peace out.